Right, so what we've got here is a very late 80s and or early 90s Hot Points Reverse Matic Dryer Plus 9325. I'll take a look at it anyway. So we've got our kick plate at the bottom, which is actually just a piece of metal. Anyway, it's painted. And we're going to take a look inside here, the door. Because unlike any other dry, uh, other dryers, uh, because this is a nine, early nineties hot point. So we've got a door handle here. Press, and this here is a little uh, child lock, which you use a coin. You can turn it, but these often break, so no point in really using it. Well, like uh, other dryers, there is a door seal here, uh, and that's because we're venting from front to back. So we've got a fan at the back here, which doesn't actually have any ducts at all. It's quite weird really, it just blows in air somehow. There's a heater around the front here, and the front half of the drum is made of metal, and it's got the holes in for the heater. But then the rear half, yep, that isn't metal, it's plastic. Even back then, in these times, we've got plastic. We've also got one, two, uh, three, and four panels. Quite a small panel, but they work. Um, Moulded into the drop. So here we go, we've got our metal here, and then it sort of bonds sort of there. And it comes with plastic. Oh, my camera decides to focus, there we go. At the back there, um, our air goes from here backwards, and this is our filter. Uh, to get it off, you have to just you can either grab it here, and it normally comes off, uh, and even says there, pull, 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 pull. And it comes off, and we've got our filter. Then we've got a hole here and this is where we vent out. Uh, there's a little, so this is a little duct which you can actually change the position of or you want to point up or down also. Um, when this goes in here, it can only go in one way, you can't go through there. So you can't put it on the other. Right, so when we do our filter, we can't put it on that way. It has to go on that way. Like so. And that pushes back on. Push, 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 push. And then the back on. Cosmetic wise, if I shut this door. Um We've got, well, you can't really see it, but there's plastic broken there. The actual tabs are broken there and there, but the rest of the tabs are still okay. Our rocker switch here for our high and low heat. It's a bit st stiff, but it works. Um, there was gunk between there. I've cleaned it off, but there's probably still more than between. And again, there's a little tiny bit of gunk on the dial, but that works completely well. Uh, fine. Oh, so this is on a door. Because it's got a seal, it pushes out. Trying to shut this is a bit. There we go, we're on. It's a bit of a guessing game. So when you normally load it up, load it up, put it on the minutes, then shut the door so you know it works. Top of the dryer is a bit unusual. Uh, in terms of damage, uh, all the paint's come away here, but it's not rusted here. This isn't rust, this is just where the paint's come away, the enamel. Oh, you can even scratch it yourself, it'll come away. Uh, clearly they've had stuff on top of the dryer, whoever had it last. Um, they've got a tiny patch of rust there and there on top 
on top panel, but other than that, it's not too bad. The plastic trims are still intact on the sides uh, and on the actual top lid. They're all still intact, which is quite unusual. And then around the back here, we've got our vent hose. We've got our hose there, but it's got a hole underneath there. Um, this will paint points in the other way, so I've done it this way, so it kind of covers the hole up. But I'll put some gaff tape on. Other than that, uh, it blows out fine. That screws on fine, clips in place, and we've got our uh, wire management cable tie up here. And we've got an original hot point plug. the hot point logo still on it. So with that in mind, let's do a little test load. It does work. You know it works. Uh, oh, I'll just show you the top of the panel here as well. Max load is four kilo, and that's actually not really true. It's actually like five kilo. Uh, it was simply put four kilo because at the time of manufacture, these took, uh, the washers took 4.1 kilos of laundry. Uh, so really this is a, nine pound dryer but proper nine pound dryer um but in actual fact you can take five kilo uh, and still use the same kind of heat settings really uh cotton's full heat synthetics low heat uh, synthetics full heat as well max of two kilo acrylics uh max of two kilo um on low heat uh We've got a little guide there, so the dashed markers we've got the same colour on ironing dry and the red is cupboard dry. So acrylics have only got cupboard dry minutes. Alright, so I'm gonna put on full heat. That's all load it up then. One t-shirt, two t-shirts, three t-shirts, four t-shirts, five t-shirts. Six t-shirts. I'm missing a t-shirt. Seven t-shirts. Eight t-shirts. Nine t-shirts. Ten t-shirts. A blouse. Oh, another two t-shirts. Twelve t-shirts. Blouse. Close it up. It's just a bit of a nightmare to shut because of the. There we go, we clipped it. Got roughly three kilos of laundry, but we've actually pre spun at 1400 RPM. And this is an old money as well, so it should actually only take about 50 minutes to do. Ready? Let's go. Oh, I'm not going to go fast enough. Oh, Um, right, so what happens when you switch it on, the whole top sort of raises a little bit, but all that air, like I said, isn't actually got a duct. It's just simply blown around the machine, so the whole machine blows outwards like that. Um, so as a result, even this is being pushed out. There's air coming from the gap in between the top of the lid and the control panel. But she fully works. And she's actually quite quiet. Yeah. Modern hot points are actually loud in comparison to this. Well, I'm saying that they've gone quiet again to be honest, but yeah, the ones that Insit made between 2000 and Actually don't see that the later version after this, like the Creed versions, um, I think they're a lot louder. It's 98% running order. Uh, you can hear that tiny thudding noise every now and then. Can you hear that? And all that is is that the roller bearing at the back that, that the drum sits in. 
just starting to deteriorate. Uh, I found one or two of the roll bearings, I don't know who you're going to out.
Let's have a look then. Yeah. Dry. Nearly dry. Slightly damp. Dry, dry. Not kind of damp. In essence, this is like another 10 minutes. I mean, if I was drying it proper, if I was. It weren't too bad off for 55 minutes. 5 minutes more and it would have been perfect, but so. Uh, yeah. Alright, like I said, let's pull this out. And then, uh, there we go. So we'll scrape that. Like a pizza pie. Now, right, hold on. I'll put it back on. Put it back in. There we go. It's all done. Well, that's it. That's my review of the old hot point tumble dryer, which. Actually, it surprises me how quiet it is. The one minute tumbling means it's, uh, it's pretty much crease free. Um, the high heat means actually it's pretty fast at drying too. So, overall, pretty good.